multi-award winning songstress Mulelwa Nkutukana, popularly known as Zahara, has passed away at the age of 36. The Loliwa hitmaker passed away reportedly at a private hospital in Johannesburg last night. She was admitted two weeks ago with liver complications. Her family confirmed that her health deteriorated and she was moved to ICU before becoming unresponsive. Over the years, the music sensation released numerous best-selling studio albums, scooping 17 South African Music Awards in her career. To us as a family, to have lost one of our beloved daughter, granddaughter, and uh, everything to us. Besides being a, a person who was popularly known, to us she was a, a family member, a humble person, an ordinary child to us. Let's speak to musician Gabo Movilagazi and Mojale Fatebe, Zahara's producer. Thank you very much, gentlemen, to both of you for your time this afternoon. Mr. Tebe, perhaps let's start with you. Do you remember the day you were introduced to Zahara? What stood out for you? You know, uh, the, the first time I saw her in a clip, Zanzan uh, Mirza was done a DVD. And uh, I, I saw the clip and... Uh, and I, I thought, wow, what a phenomenal voice. And, and I, I always say at that time, uh, myself and Robbie were not in good standing, good terms with TS Records. But after I saw her, I was like, no ways. Uh, can we talk to TK and see if we can work on that artist? I was so blown away, honestly. Uh, and I, 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 was, I was really blessed that I got to be part of her music career. Mm. Mr. Vilagazi, do you remember the first time you were introduced to Zahara and what do you remember um, standing out the most for you? Well, I, I mean, I, I became a fan before I, her and I became friends. Like, I I was blown away just like the rest of the country was. She just, she just came out from nowhere. And um, more than just her incredible voice, it was just her, her songwriting uh, ability. Um, I was just blown away by these stories that that seem so familiar, but yet away, yet so so fresh and so brilliant. Um, and um, I was very lucky that eventually, because we literally came out of the same year, so we'd end up playing the same kind of gigs and the same kind of venues that we get to hang out and become friends, you know. Mm. Mr. Mujalouf, uh, Mr. Vilagazi speaks of um, uh, or mentions the word story. What is the story um, of Zahara? Because you, more so when you take a look at the reaction since um, her passing, right? Um, people remember the powerful musician, but also people are remembering someone who was fragile, who seems to have been taken advantage of. What is her story? Um, you know, um Zahara was a girl from the village um, who had a dream, uh, who came to Joburg and received all the support from TS Records. They, you know, they did their best to, to, to harness her, her career and, and they did very well. They marketed her and, and pushed at the brand. And Zara became, you know, one of the biggest brands South Africa has ever produced there. And, you know, as 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 you you as artists go into record deals, sometimes there are a few things that uh, later don't make sense. They make sense in the beginning, where if you make certain agreements with people and say, okay, fine, uh, they'll ask you how much do you want per gig. You'll you'll say the amount. They'll give you the amount. Uh, as those things increase, sometimes the um, what they charge increases, and all of those things. But then you end up, people will always come and say, ah, but you are being robbed, you are being robbed, you are being robbed. Um, the honest truth is that Zahara, um, some of the royalties, uh, she was getting directly from Universal, some from uh, Shear Publishing. They, they may have been some disagreement when it came to gigs and shows, of which that is... Uh, happens with every every artist, honestly, in the industry. If your agreement is not in place, or if what you charge and how you, the, the money you make uh, changes, you also feel like 
Uh, but you know, the, the monthly agreement doesn't work for me anymore. It's, it's, it's those things. Yeah. Mm. Mr. Vilagazi, how should um, someone you call your friend be remembered? I mean, you, for some people, they would say, meaning that just like you and I, where you have your highs and you have your flaws and you have your really lows, but you also have your really magic moments, um, how, would, how should she be remembered or how will you remember her? You know, like I wasn't privy to her business, and I think most most of her fans were not. And I think it it would be very irresponsible for us to start making her legacy about how she wasn't treated well when we don't really know the intricacies of her business. I think Jalifa knows a little better than I do, so I choose not to get involved in that because I honestly don't know the truth and and behind that. And I I would hate that her legacy becomes that. Um, that the story about he, her being robbed becomes bigger than the fact that she gave us this incredible music. Um, and that's what I want to remember her for. I want to remember her for her talent. I want to remember her for for how well she could perform and, and that beautiful voice of hers. And that's, that's the only story that, that I care for, to be honest. What's your favorite song? Uh, the first one I heard of her was really well. I also like that, that song she did with... Uh, with DJ Spook, I think that's the one I first heard the voice on. And I was like, um, I'm not sure. Uh, this sounds very different to what DJ Spook usually um, makes. Um, um, but there's, a, there's something special about 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 this particular song. But uh, my mom's favorite song has always been Lonely Way because that's, that's the first song she heard. And she asked me about it. I was like, who's this girl who sings this Lonely Way song? And that became my connection to my mom through that song. So that will always be like a special one for me. Yeah, a lot of moms enjoyed that. Thank you very much for your time and your reflections. I do understand we've lost Mr. Tebe, musician Gabo Movilagazi and Jalifa Tebe, who worked quite closely with Zahara. Sam, you still there? You wanted to say something? Uh in marriage for the last year and on one of our days we finished about two months ago um we finished shooting um late and we we're tired and my friend zinto was one of the actors on the show brought a car around where we were sitting and she started playing uh, zahara's first album her debut album and um we started seeing like crew members other actors come out of the studio we just like surround zinto's car and started dancing and it's very rare to see somebody who has that ability through song to, to be able to combine people. I just remember the story, sorry, to catch you. And I just remember this beautiful story of how uh, through Zahara's music, the people at work, it doesn't matter whether they're a crew member, or whether you're a producer, or whether you're an actor, or you work in the fields, everybody just came and they started singing these songs. People were jumping on cars, um, just playing her album. Um, it was almost like we knew that this moment was going to come. And that's one of the beautiful memories I actually remember of her. Thank you very much for sharing it. Kabamu Fivlagazi is a musician.